Earthway works, man. I mean, when my buddy Jared's, I think he, he's still using the Earthway like 10 years later. So, I mean, it, yeah. I, I had no problems with it. Yeah. I mean, there is some nuance to the thing, but I, it, yeah. So like, like, uh, like beets and carrots and radishes, for instance, it kind of overseeds them. Uh, so or that was the beets. Got it. Oh, got yeah. It. Beets, radish and carrots when you do them. Like, so for the for the carrots, I use the, the smallest plate, the lettuce plate, the lettuce carrot plate. The beet, I use the beet one. The radish, I use the radish plate. And those all worked perfectly. I tried messing around with different plates, but the seeding density was like not enough if I tried to like mitigate that overseeding. Um, so what I did with it, and I think works really well, especially if your climate's not too at like, it sounds like you have a decently mild climate. It doesn't go to like a hundred five or something no so yeah. so you can kind of have stuff in the ground and, and stagger the harvest so like the beets like i would just go through my when i'm harvesting um and just harvest the biggest ones and then let the smaller ones get bigger some of them won't develop into a a, a root at all because they just won't get enough light and oh well they just kind of they're just underneath everything so like instead of harvesting the bed in like one or two days within a week you know, maybe I'd wait, I'd harvest from that same bed for two weeks because I'd do one big harvest, get all the big ones out that I could. The next week for market, there'd be more that would be ready and, and so on. And then um, I just wouldn't need to plant as many beds of the beets uh, or the carrots or the radishes because of that. Right. I could like extend the amount of time that I harvested that bed. And that's kind of how I dealt with it. And I know other people kind of do that too. Um, so that's, that's, that's what I'd recommend for that, uh, but you'll see. And one other way you can experiment with is like on the beet plate, there's like all those positions, tape, yeah. tape off like every other one or every two, tape one of them. Um, oh, okay. okay. And that could like reduce the density a bit. Right. Um, so that's something else that you can mess with. Um, um and then for like greens and stuff the plates that i used so the lettuce plate works really good for arugula i found that if i used the radish plate for arugula it just was too it was too much 